and then my mother was diagnosed with dementia mm -hmm. when she was in her late 80s. She's 95 now. She had full onset dementia by the time she was 89. And I sort of wasn't quite sure how that fit into God's plan, to be honest with you. That here's this woman who lived the right life. She didn't do things that she shouldn't do. She took care of her family. She was a God-fearing woman. Her grandfather, my great-grandfather, was a minister in the Methodist Church. But this horrible thing had beset her, and I couldn't quite understand why this was happening to her. And um, I sort of lost a little bit of faith in all of it. But she is at peace. Her, even though she is in this state, she herself is at peace with what she is. It's, it's those around us that are not in peace, that we're disturbed by what's happening to her. But for whatever reason, her brain has her at perfect peace. She's, she's where she is. So I had to decide to let that go, that I can't control that situation, that I have to hand that over to God. And after I retired, I came home and my neighbor asked me, she said, would you like to come to Bible study at her church? And I said, yeah, I think so. So I started attending her Bible study classes. And then I started going to church with them. They're a non-denominational type church. And I started thinking to myself, this is lovely, but it doesn't feel like me. It doesn't feel like my faith. And I felt the draw to come back to the church, to come back to the Episcopal Church. I went home to see my mother in California, and out of the blue, she asked me, are you going to church? Just out of the blue. And I said to her, well, yes, Mommy, I am. But I thought to myself, something's telling me that I need to, <laughs> I need to be elsewhere. So, uh, I started going to church in Sacramento because I was there for quite some time, to an Episcopal church there. And as soon as I came home, I went to Old Nation. I have just felt at home ever since. It's what I needed. What I needed spiritually, and I needed for the peace of my own mind. And I feel like it's such a family.